Hello everyone, welcome to another GASP ALS project update. So first of all, I fixed the uh, hand attachment issues. So no matter what character you have, now the things are going to attach correctly. Um, the IK is not working yet, I need to have a better system for that. But the items were uh, are going to uh, attach correctly no matter what character you're using. So basically I switched from uh, using the weapon R and weapon L to using uh, basically sockets that are uh, on each character. So the sockets are not perfectly adjusted for each character. So I did not spend time to adjust all the sockets on all the characters. Um, but you can adjust them themselves depending on what, char what character you're using or the character that is for your game. So uh, the way it's done is um, if you go uh, into a specific character. So here, if we go, for example, to the UE4 mannequin, and rigs, uh, actually meshes, and skeleton, you will see that he has uh, an overlay socket for each of the items. And this is the case for basically every single character. So um, keep in mind, guys, that this is not maybe for all the projects. It's, it's really dependent on your project. So f first things first, like if you have a project that you have only one character in your game, then you're basically not supposed to use uh, runtime retargeting. You're not supposed to use the system which basically copies the pose from the previous uh, character to this one. So if, you're, if your project has only one character, then you better just like retarget the animation blueprint or rig your character to the UEFN mannequin and just, just use that. So this the runtime retargeting system is used for projects like Fortnite or something where they have a lot of uh, characters. But if you are not, uh, using uh, different characters in your project, then you're not supposed to use uh, runtime retargeting. Uh, the second thing is I made a quick system which basically makes it so even if you have multiple characters and you attach a weapon, like you will see the weapon attached to all of them. So this is a system where basically it um, checks in the... Uh, here, if you go into the uh, blueprints and the not the main character, but actually retargeted characters, uh, you will see that the meshes that I want to attach the um, overlay item to, I tag them with a attach overlay item tag here. And then uh, in the uh, main character blueprint in the overlay system, like when we start the game, I get all the meshes that are tagged with this. And then when we attach an item to the hand, first of all, I attach the main item, which is the... Um, the one that is parented to the health root object. And then I spawn basically items dynamically for each mesh that has that tag. So this way, uh, when you're playing, even if you have like three characters, you can do the bow and you can spawn the bow for all of them. And then you can see how it behaves on each of these characters. So again, this is a debug thing. This is not how games are supposed to be made. Uh, when you're making a game, you're supposed to basically um, have a inventory system that is spawning instances of your items and attaching them correctly. So this is this is a locomotion project, guys. So uh, don't um, be very, don't go too deep into this attaching to different characters and stuff. It really depends on the game that you're making, and solve the issue for your game and not for for a project like this. I'm solving these issues so that you you guys can test. But if the solution is not perfect or the sockets are not perfectly aligned. Keep in mind that this is for demonstration purposes and it, this is not meant to be used. The, the, this entire, um, the overlay system in, uh, in and of itself can be used in your final game, but this entire system of switching like the Q button, uh, the Q button to switch overlays, and this is not an inventory system. This is basically just spawning items and, and like changing the overlay. So uh, in a proper game, you're supposed to basically be um, using your inventory system to do these things uh, instead of just uh, uh, like relying on this code that is in the base character. So um, this is fixed. I also fixed the ragdolls now on um, the retargeted characters. So now if you ragdoll on each character, you will not see that jitter that was there before. So the ragdolls uh, are working for any character that uh, that basically you're, uh, you're playing. So it was just a tick group thing. So basically the way this is fixed is if you go to retargeted character here and you select the, the mesh and you have tick here, these tick were set to pre-physics and now they are set to post-physics and it, it, it works. 
Uh, this is thanks to uh, an issue that was opened on the Gitla GitHub project and uh, a person from the community answered with, the, with this response and I tried it and it's working. And another quick feature that I added is basically shoulder switching when you're uh, strafing. So if you hit left alt, you will see that the character is going to switch uh, to the left or right shoulder. And of course, this only works if you are uh, in strafe mode. So if you are not in strafe mode, it's not going to work. But then when you're strafing, it's, it's going to function. Uh, all right. So that's it for uh, the updates. 